episode. Hi, hey. campers. I'm Spike. I'm Chris. That is Chris, and this is another episode of Geeking Out. Uh, did you have anything well, you were wanting to talk about? Because you had an awful short list this week. Cause yeah, all the, well, all the everybody's sick and tired of being sick and tired and stuff. Uh, well, we covered that in the last episode. Yeah, this, everything pretty much is covered in the last episode because there's not really much news to actually report. Actually, there is some news. Would you well, like to hear about Disney Plus and how they're having their their little Mickey mass handed to them by Netflix. Okay, now listen. We are now four months into Disney Plus. Okay, you and I joked in the last episode. Even I've canceled my Disney Plus because I don't care about. It. Even though they do have stuff coming up, I'll wait until something comes out that I really have to see, like the new Proud Family right. series that they're working on and stuff. But that's going to be like a year out. If they're still around, maybe I'll check it out then. We, we have done episodes where I've talked about the future of streaming and Disney Plus. Disney Plus probably this, not going to be a part of it five years from now. I don't this think. actually makes me happy because I keep telling people Netflix is amazing. Okay, now here's what you need to know. Okay, Like I said, we're four months into Disney Plus. This was supposed to be the first big challenger in Netflix. Disney Plus, they had all this library. But they did gonna, it wrong. <laughs> There's a, a streaming aggregator called Real Good, R E E L G O O D. If you want to look them up, mm -hmm. Real, what Real Good does basically, basically they they spy on what you're watching. Okay, they don't, you don't, they're not looking for you specifically. They're looking at people that anonymously. They're looking at people who are watching Netflix and Disney Plus, and they're trying to see. Who's watching what? Because yes. Netflix won't tell, Disney won't tell. Everybody's trying to hide on to their data. But the uh, real good and other uh, spyware things can can sit in the background. They can they can tell what you're looking at, how much time you're spending on each site. So uh, back on November twelfth of twenty nineteen is when Disney Plus went live, and this data goes all the way to February seventeenth. So this is about a month old. Okay, wow. and this is forty-five thousand people who who subscribe to both Netflix and Disney Plus. What are the top ten shows, movies, whatever? What are the top ten things people are streaming between the two services? Okay, yeah. so this combines Disney Plus with Netflix. Now, three of the top ten most streamed movies belong to Disney Plus. Okay, Avengers Endgame came in seventh. The Avengers came in ninth. Star Wars Episode Four: New Hope came in tenth. All right. The other seven titles are on Netflix, including Avengers: Infinity War, is in the top ten. That streams on Netflix up until that point, uh, which is somehow more streamed than the the newer sequel, Endgame. Uh, Disney Plus did have the most streamed TV show, The Mandalorian. But the other nine top shows are on Netflix, and six of those are Netflix originals. The next Disney Plus show in the top 50 is The Simpsons at number 24. And of the users who subscribe to both services, about three quarters use Netflix more. So once the introductory pricing expires and uh, Verizon stops giving people a year of free Disney Plus for being their subscribers and... Disney Plus jacks the rates up because they're going to have to to pay for this crap somehow. And uh, so, in other words, Netflix ain't overly worried about Disney Plus. No, and they shouldn't. And I'll tell you exactly where Disney went wrong. For one thing, you can get on the you can go on YouTube. You can look just look it up. And see what's coming out this month on uh, Netflix. Disney does not tell you the dates of these new shows that are supposed to come out. Or what new movies is, they're working on that is just for Disney Plus or anything like that. They don't tell you nothing. You just have to check once in a while and see if there's anything new. Seriously. Something else that they did was that they promised everybody these Marvel TV shows. But the thing is, is that Disney Plus 
has already started and they never even started shooting these Marvel TV series at all. I mean, they are now. Yeah. But they although, didn't do although it. Although they have suspended a lot of those yeah, uh, filming exactly. schedules. And that's what I heard them more. Because of Corona beer. So. But it's like, they what they should have done was already have everything ready and set. That way, at the beginning, you can watch Mandalorian. Then after that season is done, bring out one of their Marvel shows. Falcon or Vision and Scarlet Witch or whatever. All that stuff. One of those. And then after that season's done, do another one. By the time that season's done, then the Mandalorian Season 2 will be back on. It's too late to do that. question is, can they write the ship? They do. They did. Disney did change their CEOs. Bob Iger, the old CEO, is staying on to keep just long enough to keep Disney get Disney Plus fully operational because they were. Let's face it; they were not ready. They were half-assed when they when they launched this. Yeah, they thing. weren't ready. Half-assed, half-gassed, and they they screwed the pooch when they released this thing. Exactly, and, this, and and Netflix is spending so much money on these big contents. Like you got big time writers, big time directors doing movies just for Netflix. You got big time stars starring in these movies. And not to mention Netflix. I've I've told people this. The reason why Netflix is so great is because they have zondras of all kind. If you want something foreign, they have something foreign. If you want something comedy, yeah, they got comedy. If you want anything, they got it. Plus their original stuff. So that's why, you know, Netflix to me has always been great and still will be. And I don't think they have nothing to worry about. Netflix is... I have not subscribed to... I, I gave up my Netflix subscription back in 2019. And to be honest, I don't miss it that much. Once once you're without it for about a month, you stop thinking, okay, you, you get out of that routine of turning on Netflix. But I also canceled my Hulu subscription. Because, frankly, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of the network stuff on Hulu, but most of the network stuff is crap. So why would, why would I pay to watch it? I'm never going to watch it. The old, the old TV shows and stuff, I don't want to see them right now. I've seen the ones I want to see. Why do I keep paying for this if I'm not using it? Cancel it. A lot of these studio streaming services are going to learn the hard way. They have to sit there and they have to burn up a bunch of cash before they can figure out, you know what, we make more money letting other people take the risk on that. Just pay me cash to do something. All I have to do is just send you a digital file. And that's it. And and you can show it there for a while, Netflix, and pay me. What were they paying for Friends by the time that's that oh, switched over to HBO Max? They are paying like a quarter of a billion dollars a year and for the I'm streaming rights for Friends, which quite frankly wasn't that funny to begin with. But hey... I digress. It's Friends has its fans. The Office has its fans. All of these shows have their fans. <sighs> Even I admit, uh, I when WKRP in Cincinnati came out and they restored the old music to it because they had to sit there and pay for the rights for each song and stuff to be used in the show, so they replaced it with generic. When they replaced those, I was like, okay, I'm back. I watched them all for about six months on MeTV and then I've seen them all, so move on. So, man, it was... Sheesh. This is... <laughs> I think I bet he's broke. Disney Plus, I'm telling you, is eventually going to go away. Disney Plus, if it, Disney Plus continues, it's going to become like an add-on for Hulu. Because Hulu, Disney has already moved some of their shows, like, uh, what was I looking at? Shoot. Disney's already moved a couple of their shows over to Hulu because they wanted to keep Disney Plus more kid friendly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. I got something on that one. Mm hmm. Okay, this is. I, I, did, I, I read this and I, I thought it was hilarious. Okay. There was this show on Disney that I've never watched. Trust me, I, did, I never watched it and it was too girly. 
but it was called uh, Lizzie McGuire. Mm -hmm. Well, they was wanting to bring it back for Disney Plus, a newer, you know, shows and stuff. Well, Hilary Duff, who plays Lizzie McGuire, said that the show will be moved to Hulu because it's more mature. I'm like, it's about a girl that talks to a cartoon self. How mature can you, I mean, seriously? Seriously? Well, first off, Lizzie McGuire reboots already been canceled flat out. Oh, they well. They pulled the plug on that completely. Thank God. Even Hulu. They, Disney didn't want to make it for it. <laughs> uh, High Fidelity moved to Hulu. Love Victor moved to Hulu. They just, it's just a, one of those wow, things. Disney Plus is though? going to be the kid-friendly version. It's going to eventually become an add-on for Hulu. But see, now that's where they make the mistake. Because, I mean, now that they own Fox, what they should just do, again, have Fox properties, have, you know, your kid-friendly stuff, and your Marvel stuff in different sections and have like a parental block thing on there to where it's like oh this movie has a cuss word there was somebody that actually pointed out in a video because Adventures in Babysitting said the F word twice and it's on Disney Plus F that and I was like ha that's funny because <sighs> I remember that movie it's it that was pretty funny. Be. <laughs> it's one of those things. And, and here's the hilarious part. If Disney... Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. If Disney were smart, which they're not, Disney Plus, you really want that to be kid-friendly? Okay, no. fine. Fine. All right, fine. You want Disney, you want Disney Plus to be kid-friendly streaming service. Okay. A license the broadcast versions of major movies and host them on Disney Plus because nobody else will play them. And there is a sizable audience out there of people who don't want to hear the F-bombs and the S-bombs, that's why I smack you every time you cuss. And people who don't want to hear that that are looking for an option like this because it was not that long ago, long ago there were companies like Digital Angel and some of the others some actually, there was actually a DVD player that would automatically skip the bad parts because it would go online, download a quick little file like it was riff tracks, and would know when to skip the cuss words, when to skip the sex scenes, the nudity scenes, the violent scenes, and stuff. And you could edit it. And Hollywood hated it because how dare you? How dare you cut up our stuff? Even if that's what you wanted, that's not what you're allowed to have. You have to respect their artistic vision, but my God, they're happy to suck up the fees from the airlines when they have these little edited things. But hey, well, I mean, TV's been doing it forever. I mean, you can't yeah. necessarily show a exactly a, a violent a broad... movie on regular television without cutting out the the language and the sex scenes and mm -hmm. some of the gore mm -hmm. to show on television. Although I am seeing like... broadcast, uh, not broadcast, cable, basic cable. TV stations dropping S words and F bombs in in prime time. Well, no, that does. Now, here's the thing: they do that once in a while. They'll do that like for like a, a season or something. They'll do that once in a while in a, in one part of the year where they just don't care and they just do that, and then they go back to editing everything out. I don't know guess, why. Can you get, I know exactly why. You want to take a guess? Okay, you said you don't know why. Well, I, well, I mean, there's a time of year where that happens. Can you guess what time of year it is? I bet you I can make a awesome. good estimate because there are rating services in broadcast TV. Does their ratings in February, in May, and November? Okay, cable channels do theirs in March, in June, and December. That's when they set. That's when they get their ratings. That's when you start seeing more stunt casting on cable huh. channels. That's when you see the cussing and the nudity and stuff. They're trying desperately to get somebody to pay attention to them. See, I'm, are, I've always noticed that because they've been doing that for years on regular television. And I'm just like, huh, I wonder if they've messed up in editing or something like that. And they didn't catch that or no, something. Because... Uh, 
Well, you know, I'm a, I'm still a wrestling fan. AEW, All Elite Wrestling's on TNT. Yeah. And there are times I will tune out because they will drop S-bombs in the... Like, usually they'll wait until the 9 o'clock hour because they're on like 8 to 10 every Wednesday night at 8 to 10 Eastern. But last week they had they dropped an S-bomb about 8.30 at night. Hmm. But because it's cable, the FCC... FCC rules don't apply. It was just network standards that kept that that, that out of it. So <laughs> now I have to think twice about whether I'm going to keep watching AEW if they're going to keep cussing like that. I mean, I guess it appeals to the 18 to the 45 year olds that they crave so much. But uh, how many 18 to 45 year olds still have cable subscriptions? See, I mean, I'm okay if they slip up once in a while, but if it's like a constant thing, kind of oh, like no, that this, Harley Quinn they're trying, show. They're trying to be edgy, yes. Just, it, it was Harley Quinnized. It's like, because like, it was... It's like if you're going to sit there and like say it like a lot, then I understand. Like, But if you'd like say it once in a while, like uh, there's... Shoot, there was a... <laughs> oh, shoot, what was I watching? There was something. It was... It was a family movie. It was a kid's film. But it had so much action and stuff in it. And I'm just like, you know, if that was actually really happening in real life, they'd be like saying, holy shit, or something like that, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a time and a place for it. But 8 a.m. on a basic cable package. Uh, but, I mean, hey it's, hey, it's your cable channel. You do what you want yeah. to with it. But guess what? I've said it before. You want to, you want to live you want to live trash. You want to live the trash lifestyle. Sure. Hey, live the trash. I'm not going to celebrate it, and I'm not going to pay for it. So True. right now, I'm subscribing to TNT in USA so I can watch my wrestling. I may just drop TNT if I keep saying s words f and f words being dropped because I know it's a matter of time before somebody starts dropping trowel and. Yeah, and and we're just right off into if that's what TNT thinks is entertaining. Hey, more well, power to you, but I'm not going to be there to pay 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 your electric bills for you anymore. But uh, I mean, I I understand why Disney's like losing their stuff because they don't have again. Like I I I got on there and I watched all my st stuff that they got. But it's like, if you're going to put new seasons of uh, DuckTales on there, let me know that you're doing that, like, right now. Advertise that. Don't let me, like, wander off and then be like, oh, it's on there now? Oh, okay. I need to, you know. For example, um, Disney Plus and these other streaming services, you networks pay attention. I know you don't pay attention to me, but if, uh, if you own a network and you own a streaming service, and you're showing a new show on your network first, and then you show it on your streaming service. You go, They always wait till they show the entire season on their network, and then they release the season to the streaming no. service. Okay. What if, for example, new episodes of DuckTales, how many people still subscribe to Disney Channel? There's still quite a few, but it's shrinking every week. Yeah. Every week, every month, every year, it's, it's going lower and lower. What if you release new episodes on Disney Plus every week, like the day before it appears on Disney yeah. XD, and it makes its network premiere? There's an extra reason to stick around. Now, maybe some people will will not view that as enough reason to keep subscribing to it. Uh, but hey, if you make them wait a week, that's something that I kind of wish Netflix would do instead of putting an entire season of their stuff on there. Just cut it up to where it's like. An episode every week. Yeah, that's been a criticism of them from the beginning. That's the only problem it's against I do their, have. It's against their net religion because they're oh. they say uh, I go through it just like that, and I'm just like, oh, now I gotta wait like so long for another. They season. say they say binging Uberalis, so oh. they always repeat re I release that. an entire season at once. But now it, it works for Netflix. Now, so. if I if I was a huge hot. Somebody huge in Hollywood, okay? And I owned a studio, and we're going to do the streaming thing as well. And I told you about this. This To me, this is a smart way to do it. All right? 
I think Netflix should do it because I don't think it's, it doesn't seem right on anything else. But you have all your movies, you have all your TV shows, okay? But also have an amateur thing where people who develop video games, they can develop games just for your streaming service for people to actually play. And they can play it on anything. Kind a like place that. for music, a place for books, new writers, you know, they can write a story and you can get on there and read their stuff. Hmm? That's what Amazon's been trying to do for years. I think That's it's why they offer, they offer like uh, Amazon Prime Reader, they offer uh, Amazon Music Unlimited, where you can listen to whatever songs you want as much as you want for like 10 bucks a month. Everything's like 10 bucks a month at Amazon. And then they have the the Amazon Prime streaming service that comes with Amazon Prime to get people to... They have a Comixology where you can read... Comixology is Amazon. They own... Basically, it's a, a streaming service for comic books where you yeah, can download that comics. That and, and, yeah, that, that drives comic shop owners insane. But, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but there's still something... The, the, the one saving grace for bookshops, people still want hard copies. Because oh, yeah. In case the lights go out, the battery dies. You can well, I'm not it. saying put all their stuff they, on there, but anyway. put put enough on there for people wanting more. What DC more. Universe does, you know. How many? I, I I'm, I'd be curious to see just how many people who subscribe to the DC Universe service do. And I know you do. And uh, how many pe how many of them actually read comic books on the DC Universe? Because there is not that much streaming content on there. No. But there's an all there's an insane but that amount is of comics smart on that there. they put on there. Yeah, it's, it's an smart. extra value added thing, but how many people actually use it? And you know what they should add on there too? Mm -hmm. Is for people to like uh audiobook comics. Mm -hmm. So if people's like driver or something but they want to hear the latest issue or whatever, they can hit the same thing but put audio and somebody's reading it to you while mm -hmm. you're Yeah, different strokes for different folks. It'd be awesome. Yeah. There are ideas that are out there to make your stuff better. Just do it. You got the money. Don't tell me that you don't got the money. We know you got the money. Just saying. You done? Yeah, I'm done. You're done. All right, you done? All right. I'm Considering good. we started off with how Disney Plus was supposed to be the great Netflix slayer, that didn't work. Oh, you, I knew it wouldn't. I knew it wasn't. I had no... HBO Max is coming. It will not kill Netflix. It no. might kill Disney Plus, but it won't kill Netflix. It won't kill Netflix because of the money. The, uh, That's a lot. Actually, Do they go considering... Down mm -hmm, they're still still insanely high. They're up there at the same level as Netflix. Okay. To be honest, if I have to drop 16 bucks a month... On Time Warner content, I would prefer to do it the HBO Max way rather than trying to get a subscription to Cartoon Network, to Boomerang, to TNT, TBS, yeah. all the other things. Because there's a bunch of channels like CNN I don't want. I don't yeah. care about that. And, and a bunch well, of other, True TV, I don't care about that. And a bunch of others. But this way you can pick and choose what you watch and stuff, which is fine. Yeah. If, again, HBO's got that high standard... Netflix does not have HBO's high standard. They Netflix is still doing the scattergun approach. They're approve, they're approving all these ideas and stuff, <coughs> calling them Netflix originals. And I've said it before: about ten percent of them stick, ten percent of them are good, and the other ninety percent are utter crap. But they're trying, and they have to learn somehow. And this is how they learn. HBO. HBO has had some misses, but they've had a lot more hits than misses. And for that matter, here's what I don't understand. How is AMC not in the game yet? Because AMC is also, just like HBO, they're kind of like HBO with training wheels a little bit because they're on regular cable instead of oh. premium, so they, they can't get away with quite as much as HBO can, but they know how to tell stories there better I think, than HBO does. If I had to choose between The Walking Dead on AMC or Game of Thrones on HBO, knowing what I just said about 
AEW dropping S-words and F-bombs and it's a matter of time for somebody drops trowel on, on television, which one do you think I'm more likely to watch? I'm more likely to watch The Walking Dead on AMC. But AMC does not have a streaming service. They had, they had, you know, if you subscribe to their cable channel and your cable company participates, there's a streaming service available, but you can't just subscribe to the streaming service, Let's which is insane. Discovery Channel bad. does the same thing. You can't subscribe to Discovery Channel Go, for example, by itself, where you can watch live feeds, where you can watch old programs and yeah. stuff. I would love to be able to watch Dirty Jobs anytime I want to. But Discovery does not want the money. Even though they've got the infrastructure in place, they've got the technology in place, they have all this content. Can you imagine watch a 24-7 Mythbusters channel? Hmm. That would be hilarious. Actually, isn't it? <clears throat> no. Mm -mm. I haven't seen it on Pluto, Pluto TV or Fubo or any of the other, or not Fubo, uh, can't think of the other one. I've seen it somewhere. Just don't know where. I don't remember. Anyway, you know, they'll <laughs> let us know in the comments if there is something that I don't know about. It's very, very possible. But uh, for now, let's just go ahead and wrap this. Netflix ain't going nowhere. Netflix ain't afraid of you guys. So, but hey, by all means, keep trying. Uh, no, I, no, Netflix... I will say, the reason why I love Netflix is because some of the shows I really am into has smart writing. Some of them. Like I said, that 10%. 10%. But then again, you can look at Hollywood in general and say 10% is good and the other 90% is utter crap. Yeah. Just because not everything's going to appeal to everybody. Like I said, I'd, I would prefer The Walking Dead to Game of Thrones. Quite frankly, I'd rather watch old episodes of WKRP over either of them. But that's me. And there's like That's one true. of me and 329,999,999 of you, not counting the ones being turned away by the by Mexico or at the border right now. But anyway, because we are being accessible. You remember that. You were talking about it in the last episode. But anyway, <laughs> what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll, we're going to cut this conversation right here. We've got another episode coming up later in the week. Uh, and it has to do with Google and Android. And... They've got Google in trouble. We'll talk about intellectual properties and what Google doesn't know about intellectual properties, apparently. We will discuss that on the next episode. I'm going to school you on this one, maybe. We'll see how much you actually know about this. Man, because I'm not this. School. Why are you going to do this to me? This. You're going to want to know this because that little smartphone you got in your pocket, what kind of smartphone is it? Straight talk. Uh -huh. see something. It's not Apple, is it? No. You're going to want to hear this. So, we'll see you next time. Till next time, I'm Spike. I'm Chris. That's Chris. We're both going to be without cell phones if things don't work out just right. What? We will talk to you later on the next episode. Geek it out. Stand by, y'all. <laughs>